Hey everybody, Nicknack here, back again for another video. And this video is kind of different, as it's a website recommendation video. Something like that I normally don't do on this channel. But I want to uh, talk about, first off, as you see right here, anybody who follows me might notice that my wallpaper has been changed. This is from the Persona 5 or Persona cosplay gathering that happened at Anime Expo. But that's besides the point. So, anyway, as many of you know, not only am I a huge fan of video games, but I'm a huge anime watcher as well. And one thing that has helped me with my love of watching anime is this website called MyAnimeList.net. This is basically a website where you could like talk about your favorite animes, review them, show us your, like your favorite animes, mangas, and whatnot, as well as backlog it, if I'm not mistaken, I think I already said that. So here's like my anime log. For example, this is the stuff I've been watching recently. This is all the anime that I completed. Some stuff that I put on hold and some stuff I plan to watch. One thing that I really love about this series is because it has a really great database of animes and characters and whatnot. So like if you think of an anime, they most likely have it. And you could of course just log it like how much time you put into it. Like when did you start, when did you end it and all that other stuff. Now what this has to do with video games is because an IRL friend of mine, Gino Star, he showed me this awesome website that's pretty much like this, but for video games. And it's called MyVideoGameList.com. Yeah, so here's what the home screen is all about. And just like my anime list, you could pretty much like log your favorite video games and like what stuff you've beaten or I'm currently playing. So I opened up my list right now and let me show you all the stuff that I did. Like here's currently playing. So this is like stuff you've been recently playing of course. Continuously playing is like I think replaying stuff. Here's all the games that I have recently beat or just beat from what I remember for the most part. Here's stuff that I put on hold, dropped, and plan to play. Now, just like my anime list, the database, wait, sorry about that, I'm kind of like struggling to think of stuff. First off, I'd like to say that this website, I believe, is pretty new, so it won't have too many games, for example. So, one game I recently beat, Last year was Shiny in the Darkness. It's an old Genesis game. It doesn't have it. But let me show you how the website works in general. So one game I'm recently playing is Shining Force. So here's what they have for Shining Force. I'm going to click Shining Force in hand. So I'm going to put Add to List. And here's what you could do, or just in general. So stats. I'm currently playing. If you like be it or want to plan to play, you know the drill. Just go over here, click it. So I'm currently playing. You could rate the games. Whether or not they're very good or very bad. Priority. It just tells you if it's like very important that you want to be or you're not in the mood. I'm leaving. Just leave these two in general blank ownership. It, you could like tell them where or not you own the game. If you don't own the game, where or not it's physical, where or not it's digital. I got Shiny Force from this Genesis collection on Steam, so I'm playing own digital copy. You could give an estimation of the amount of hours you could play. And what's the start date and finish date? Because I don't remember when the certain day I be it, I just leave these two blank. And you could just like put the amount of replay value is. 
and notes and comments to have for a game. So, status currently playing. So I just submit and bam, Shining Force is on my list. So that's how it works. I also like want to show you some other stuff like entry. So Breath of Fire recently played and I just recently beat it. So I done plan to play on completed start date, finish date. I know for a fact I didn't start Breath of Fire in that day because I was playing it when I still had school. So, yeah, I want to show you update entry. And now it says here that I beat Breath of Fire. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this short video recommending or suggesting this website. I know most people would rather use their time and logging on backloggery.com or maybe a spreadsheet. But I personally like want to show you this website because it's new. I want to like, get more games in general. And it just is pretty much easier than backloggery for me if you ask me. The reason why is you could just like BS the amount of games you could beat or say you beat on that website. And you have to like type it by hand. But yeah. If you don't like aren't into backloggery, this is a great alternative. And that's pretty much what I want to do for this bit. So yeah, it's already seven minutes. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Take it easy and until next video. And I really hope you guys use this website.